My name is Colleen Mortimer and I work in the School of Business Law and Tax. The unit that we're talking about here is a postgraduate unit in tax law. What I was trying to do in this project was include the external students in giving presentations in class rather than leaving them isolated and not having exactly the same assessments as the on-campus students. The students were asked to download ECHO 360 software from the Curtin site and put that onto their computers, then make either audio or video presentations. So it was just ECHO 360. They were given a problem and they had to present it as if they were um, presenting to a client. So in um, bearing in mind it was a tax unit, it would be perhaps a client coming uh, to a tax advisor and saying I've got a problem with this area, what, what should I do? And they would have to obviously go through uh, what the problem was, the sections, um, the rulings, uh, the case law that would affect it and, um, and, and discuss it with, with the client. The students would make a little presentation at home which they would then let us have and that could be played to the class. So that was the external students' um, contribution. And the internal students used the iLecture software and they made their own presentations as well. So the only difference was the external students made them at home and the internal students made them in class. The main support strategy was we presented them with a small sheet of instructions as to how to download the software and, and how to use it. That was for the distant students. For the internal students, it was a bit harder because the room didn't have the software loaded. It took a bit of preparation in that I had to go in advance and set it up in the room and make sure everything was working. So that, that was the support that we had to do beforehand to make sure that everything worked. In terms of students' satisfaction, they seem to be very satisfied with the unit. The comments in Evaluate and to the lecturer were that they enjoyed having the recorded lectures available for use later so that they could actually go back and reconsider the concepts. Uh, what was an unexpected um, effect of it was that their presentation skills improved. Having something recorded and people coming back and accessing it is very different to just standing up in front of the class. But if you know that people are coming back to it, it made them possibly a bit more thorough and it, in their presentation. What worked well, I think, was getting the students to do these presentations, which improved their presentation skills. And I think it was good for the external students to feel that they were part of the group. What didn't work well was we did have problems with the technology, surprisingly enough, in the classroom. And there were some nights where it just didn't record. So that was a real problem. There, there were issues with um, in the one in the classroom where people then started asking questions um, and they didn't always get recorded. So if there were going to be questions, you'd probably need to put a little um, sheet saying if anyone asks you a question, it's a good idea to repeat the question so it can be heard on the recording. And probably if there was some way of getting there a bit early and doing a test run for the day and then you could see that it was working. The comment that we got back were things like, I need a better microphone to capture my voice and the voices of the students. So we did look at some portable microphones and that I think is something we do need to look at. Overall I think it was really good and this was the comment. Um, the students became more comfortable with eye lectures and doing their eye lecture presentations. The outcome was their oral communication skills improved significantly. We started with trying to include the external students and we ended up having a really good benefit to the improvement, I should say, to the internal students as well.